Ow. Oh, fuck, he's gonna catch me now, bitch. Was I even supposed to come up here? Oh. Well, I got that. Game station test subject, Michaela Heisen. Ma... Martin Lotta Candy Cat. Performance for Michaela is very fast and accurate. She mistakes were made. The accuracy with the grab hook is subpar. Spatial awareness is subpar. Reaction time is fast. Completely lacks focus. Michaela was very engaged with the previous test. However, something within statues is drawing her attention away from the obstet. And then they died. So what ate you? What killed you? Oh my fucking god, I'm blind. Ah! Ow. Apparently that one hurt me. All the other falls... I don't believe you, and also that thing's gonna eat me. You were half right. I eventually did have to go up. Oh, that's sad. Did you lose your husband and son? No. Not, I'm not doing that. Gee, I suspect this is why they they abandon you. I'm being totally honest. They really did their best to make Betty Spaghetti fuckable. I don't know how to feel about that. Ah, of course. I keep forgetting about the tunnel. Water treatment facility is a weird thing for a toy, fla toy factory to have. Fuck you, kick me, Paul. Cool, let me struggle to read this. Transfer request. Experiment 1222. Mommy Long Legs. Subject Maria Payne. Mommy Long Legs has the unique ability to stretch any of her limbs for several hundred feet. This includes her fingers, arms, hair, neck, waist, and legs. Her fingers is gross as shit. She's very hostile towards the staff, but is very motherly and acts warmly towards the other experiments. She is protective of them. The hostility is quickly becoming problematic, but perhaps there is a solution to put her in her place. Mommy Longlegs would be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy child can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that seeing these children daily would improve her behavior, and it is very unlikely she will act out in front of the children. Have her transferred to high security maintenance immediately. Conditioning can begin. You right. Fingers would be useful for that. Also, because I have advanced eyesight. Keep our company secure. Secrets are a promise. Playtime Co. Employees who violate NDA policies will face immediate termination. Playtime Co. Rotate top 90 degrees. Rotate bottom 90 degrees. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can make the stuff from there. Let's 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 fucking test it. Yeet! Nope, oh, didn't make it. Died. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I I get it. 
This is where I wanted to go. Oh, toy scanner. Fuck. Yeah. I feel like I can make it, but also I feel like if I try to make it, I'm gonna fucking lose. Maybe? Maybe that's it. It's the only thing I can fucking think of. What? Did I miss the tape? God damn it. Is it over here? Because I'm not seeing it. One of the platforms, huh? Oh! Good fucking eye! Because I didn't even see that. Alright, what's on this fucking thing? Better be interesting or I'll lose my mind. Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. Who the fuck are How you? How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names. I hate your vest. I'm surprised people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, Mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, blue. of... Blue. Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. It's red. <laughs> Okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look... Oh my like god, you're right. He does look like the manager for the Wiggles. Be known for. He looks like he got the shit kicked out of him by the Wiggles at one point. Okay, well. And that's it. I can't rewatch it, so I guess I'll fuck myself. Do, 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 do. We're just gonna run over here. I'm almost out of time, but I think we're nearing the end. Meow, 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 but to be or not to be, that is the question. You are fucking adorable and I hate it. You and I were meant to be. Don't make me sting you. I'll do it. You need to get out of here. <laughs> Just kidding! Go have fun! That's what I would do. Every... If I owned a toy factory, every hundredth phrase or so the, out of a talking toy would say something ominous like that, like... <laughs> Play with me! Timmy, you need to run. I love pie! What do you do? Okay, well, I'm just making him go into the abyss now. Can I not just take one of these? Apparently not. What? got to fucking hold it? Well, that is just asinine. Good on you guys for using the Five Nights at Freddy's sound. I wish I could, like, grapple hook. I, like, I, I really wish I didn't have to walk everywhere.
Why does he have scary teeth in the tiny version? Is that not the version you're selling to children? Mm -hmm. But what's this way? Oh, wait. Maybe I need to go this way. I don't know the way forward. This is the way forward. Okay, so that's the same room. Remember, be safe when using your grab back. No! And don't you ever tell me what to do again. Oh. Cool. This isn't going to get tedious at all. Oh, fuck you. Oh, a hundred times fuck you. No! Get it. No, I didn't. God damn it. Nope, venomist. And I guess I'll have to do that again now because I fucked it up. This is stupid. I'm gonna be honest, I did not know if it was gonna close or not. Oh, that's cute. Am I a real boy? No. The robot crossed the road. He was programmed to do it. I love you. Do you love me? Sure. Why not, buddy? Dance with me. The button hurts me. Uh... <laughs> Okay. Don't don't like that. Okay, another videotape. Joy. Do I care enough to to go looking? What the fuck? Was I not supposed to be able to get back up from there? Also. Why is this music playing? The uh, fuck does that mean? Ah! Fuck! <laughs> the snap! The snap scared me! Be because in addition to the snapping sound of the fucking vent breaking, Bubbles is outside my door huffing. Come on, Pug a Pillar. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yes. You didn't happen to pee on anything out there, right? Like, I don't think you could do that. Okay. Get out. Oh, my fucking God. Ugh.
like, but I thought, okay, you guys want to know, Here, here's where my fear kicks in. I heard the chuffing and the snap, and I thought Bubbles broke my door in some fashion. I thought he, like, chipped off a piece or broke the glass. My fear is not from the sound. It's not the jump scare that it gave me. My fear is based entirely around the fact that if my house breaks, I can't afford to fix it. Oh, Holy fucking I shit! I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! I Caesars! Now, okay, now it's a genuine jump scare. Game. Can I not? Good. Ten, nine, okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, I'm just gonna run for my life. Two. I cheat at hide and seek all the time. Oh. Oh, dicks. Okay. Okay, no, it's fine. Can't find me if I'm not in one spot. Mommy dearest. You bitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, dumb boy. Dumb boy here. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no, 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 no. Totally. We'll just run through the tunnels. Nothing bad has ever happened in the tunnel. Okay, this way. I'm running for my life. This is more like it. Oh. All right. No! God damn it! Well gonna be right there, isn't she? No. Oh, fucking Christ. Okay, uh, red, then blue, then green, then I guess yellow. So I need red, blue, green, yellow. That's really loud! Okay, bye. Nope, change my mind. Don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, I can't even begin to tell you how badly I don't want it. I can't go back. Okay, so. Can't go back. There are fates worse than death. Yes, um, going to work every day. Is there, like, another hallway I can go this way? Can I pull these down? No. She comes out of here, and there ain't shit I can do. Like, look at that. Look at that fucking monstrosity. Oh, I know what I can do. I'm just gonna wait till the music stops. Yeah. Stupid dick. You never saw you never saw Spider-Man coming into the picture, did you? 
Okay, what is, what is this fucking nightmare? Oh, good, another crane. Um... Oh, boy. I'm gonna regret that. Okay. Or I'm not gonna regret that. And everything's fine now. I got a gear mold. Cool. Oh, is it because I need a gear for right here? Yeah, it, sh it sure fucking is. Mommy says, be careful around fire! I mean... Yes. Did the children not already know fire hurts them? Is that like a revelation? Is this an ins this is an incinerator? It's a fun incinerator though. It's a fun incinerator. Why can't I tase mommy with this? She's clearly electronic in some capacity. Okay. That is pure nightmare fuel. Okay, can't put that in there for some reason. Uh, did I just trap myself? No, okay, I can I can push it closed. Question though. What happens? Nothing happens. Got it. Oh my god. Never mind, don't look it up. I'm just dumb. I did not get that. That did not. Hold on. Hold on a sec. That's not how that works. It doesn't just appear. But whatever. Also, it doesn't come out painted. That's for goddamn sure. Great. Bye. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, so I think I need to hide inside the incinerator. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I have to do it all again. Okay, well, whatever. Triggered! Get a little fire! So am I! Who built this? And for what? I wasn't sure if I left the doors open, if she would just fuck off because of the fire or not. And I wasn't about to test it. Why is she a spider? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Okay, so just setting that off is immediately... Yeah, so there's the leftover model, and I fucking hate that. It's going to immediately piss her off and send her after me. There is no up. And I imagine I'm not going to go all the fucking way back. Well, that was death anyways, so, you know going to try. Oh. Oh, I 
see. Oh no! Oh god, let's get out now! Oh no! Where's he? Not now! Not now! No! no. Oh, man, that's dead. What? What is wrong with you? What? Fuck's sake. Alright. I think I had the right idea here. Oh god, I didn't realize that, but you could see her scuttling past. That's a little annoying, because that means she's not actually chasing me, which means I can't actually get away. Oh Christ! Nope, that's death, remember that. Not death? Nope, death. Dude, there she goes, right there. Oh god, if you could stop doing that in my ears. Cut it short. <laughs> Fuck you, game. I let go and it didn't let go. I hit the button to let go and let me fly. And instead, game keep me. Game keep me. I just want to be done. Uh, hand? Oh, that's unfortunate. Can I just run forever with this? Okay, there we go. See, I fucking... Fuck you! Oh, cool, and it flings me backwards! Yep, nope, that's exactly what I expected. It does not... <clears throat> Fuck, that's annoying. It's, it's not that the game is broken, it's that when I go to do that swing, it doesn't let go at the apex like I tell it to, it hangs on for a second as I start to go backwards, and then lets go. So I just need to let go before the apex of my swing. Yes! Oh, thank fuck! I have no idea what to do now! Oh no! Oh good, she just gives up after the door opens. That's nice. Jesus fucking Christ, that was frustrating. I need a second. <laughs> oh my god! All I had to do was make that one jump and I'd have been fine. And all I had to do to do it was to click it before the apex of my swing. Which is not how swings work! Oh, I hate this hallway. This, this... This is gonna give me nightmares. Oh, you better fucking hurry up. Nope, fuck you. Hey! Ha 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 ha! Spaghettification, bitch. Return to your origins. I can actually. It's very easy. Bye. Yeah, that's right. I'm a murderer and I'm fine with it and I can't get in front of her for some reason. Uh. Uh. Um. You know what? You keep it. High five, buddy. Well, that was all types of fucking horrible. Okay, that was horrible for different reasons. Wow, that, ugh. Ugh, is Elliot Ludwig actually a toy now? Was his idea, uh, just 
spitballing as a creative type was his idea. The, is what we're gonna find out is the idea that Elliot Ludwig lost his family, and so in order to bring his family back from the dead, he created a bunch of um, possessable toys, and then did a bunch of demon magic and tried to get the fucking souls of his wife and daughter into these toys. For some reason, looking like toys rather than I don't know people. Like, maybe, maybe he designed Betty Spaghetti there to, to be his wife, and then Poppy was going to be the daughter. I guess Huggy was the dog. I don't know, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw that out there because that seems like what's going to end up happening. Like the story cues they've given so far lead towards that. Yeah, see, the, the adoption program through the company, like, it's... Well, I mean, you gotta test... Listen, you gotta test getting the souls of orphans into your dolls. And maybe this poppy was locked up because it's actually his daughter. And that fucking weird metal hand thing that you saw is actually him. And he just, you know, went crazy and turned himself into a monster trying to, uh... <coughs> trying to do this. Where the fuck is the There it is. Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. What? These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. Yes, yeah, so it's an Indominus Rex. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However... Another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. One casualty occurred. Oh, the that's sad. The seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Yeah. Suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. It is a dog. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm back at the train. I'm back at the train land. Never did get that third code from the bitch. Oh, hey, I'm up here now. Okay. Thought that was Huggy. Fuck! Poppy! Christ on a cracker, child. Can you not do that to me? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There. Start reporting the control station. Allow a minimum distance of 20 yards from Mommy Longwegs. The train will arrive with the children at 8 a.m. All children will be gathered inside the game station all at once. Uh, the order of the games should be musical memory, whack a huggy, and then statues. A series of bridges and doors from the control station should guide you to each game. Mommy Log Legs can assist in escorting the children to each game. Only one child should ever play a game at a time. Children who are not playing a game will wait at the game station. There is playground equipment to keep them entertained. Record each child's performance as it is relevant to the game. Musical memory, composure, memory, pattern recognition, whack a huggy, eye hand coordination, reaction time. Statues, agility, strength, speed. We're going to build them into super soldiers. Once the children have left for the day, return to the control station. Give all reports to Miss Stella Gra Graber to sort through. Okay. Oh, another one. God, I wish I could fucking pull this up. Dr. Matthew Matthew Wason, Windows at Game in Game Station. I don't know if you've ever spout 
trees in and in the wilderness artificially let ro oh boy add windows <laughs> guys d d where whoever the fuck made this why in the unholy shit would you not have that can I help you yeah okay three one two four Yes. Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. You were a lot peppier before. So that that concerns me just a smidgen. But you know, whatever. Oh, good, yes. Let's go down another nightmare tube. Oh. To be honest, I thought it was going to be worse. Oh, always stick with a bud. That's cute. Why did my fucking head shoot to the left? Jesus Christ. That scared the piss out of me. Alright, no, I don't, I don't need to remember shit. Uh, no. Uh, yes. And it was... Nope. God damn it. Red, yellow, red, blue. And it was, uh... Oh, I do have to check that. Three, one, two, four. Let's... let's I didn't look at them, so... Three... Fuck, I'm good! Is there going to be, like, some nightmare that comes crawling out of there? Because I... I don't want it. Something's going to go horribly fucking wrong. I can already tell. If this train could go a little faster... Nah, that's good enough. He was so scared she put me back in that case. But you saved me. You are perfect. Too oh. perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> we could just leave together! You know how long I've been stuck in that case? You know how long it's been since I've used toilet paper? Capable is not the same as willing. What? Fuck you. <laughs> Go away. He scared you. You're lucky you didn't get punched. I know. <laughs> no, not a single fucking bathroom in this whole factory. Also, again, capable is not the same as willing. I don't. I don't want to do this. And therefore, you can kill me. Because I'm not gonna. I'm trying! Yep, that's what happens when you try to drop a strain too hard. That is that is accurate to what happens if you pull on the brakes of a train really hard. Oh, good. Play care. My favorite. Oh.
Oh, thank God that's over. Okay, so that was not bad. A uh, lot of lot of polish on the character models and on like their their animations. Holy shit, that looked really good. Got a little bit of a problem with the 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 physics and the fact that I can get caught on corners that don't exist because I'm in a fucking circle. I'm in a tube. There aren't corners in a tube. But yeah, I mean, otherwise it was it was good. I have a little bit of a weird thing about Poppy Playtime. It's the same thing I had with like um, like Five Nights at Freddy's and Benny the Ink Machine, things like that. And it's like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and quit just so I don't have to listen to that for an extended period of time. Okay. But I, I have a little bit of a problem with games like Poppy Playtime and, and Five Nights at Freddy's and Benny and the Ink Machine and probably soon to be my friendly neighborhood in that it's like, oh, it's a corruption of innocence. And like, that's the big horror element of it. I just, I don't care. I corrupted innocence myself. You learn enough things in general, you'll corrupt your own innocence. It's not that fucking hard. But th because it looks innocent and is a horror game, it attracts a lot of kids. And, like, man, the world already does enough, like, corruption and just making you not want to maybe you don't maybe now there's a kid that like really liked this stuffed animal and is now giving it side eye because like is it gonna kill me who fucking knows i don't the one thing i don't feel bad about is like five minutes and freddy's made Chuck E. cheese into a horror movie and like good gamble mouse should be banned that's just a kid casino like yeah i guess i guess my friendly neighborhood was a little different because it's they're not even scary like, the, the Muppets themselves are not actually scary. They're not like, oh, isn't it so cute? But secretly it has teeth. They're just Muppets that maul you. And they don't even really maul you. They just grab you and shake you. And, like, that's not that bad. But, like, it's fine. I understand it as a horror genre, but it's just... I feel like there are better ways to go about it. I feel like there's more you could play off of with other genres but it doesn't really matter because it's not my game i didn't make it i don't get to decide these things that said i do like that they're taking like actual childhood toys now like huggy wuggy was scary but huggy wuggy was just huggy wuggy it was just generic stuffed animal but you get betty spaghetti and if the next one is like i don't know because it seems like the prototype's the next one and that's not really a that's not really a toy. Oh, what if it's a fucking transformer? Oh my god. Okay, I'd be in for that. If it like can tran like it turns into a truck and then runs you over. But it just, I, like this was good, uh, minus the extremely frustrating parts that could I'm I'm not gonna like sit here and be like, oh, those games should be perfect. It's a beta. It's it's a it's a work in progress. It's fine. Like it. I have my issues with it, but they're my issues. I I have my issues with this whole particular genre of it. But, I mean, I, I'm here for it because it's still interesting. And for me, like, these games are designed for millennials to have nostalgia bait and be scared of it. Like, they want to they make, make you, like, jump scare and remember Betty Spaghetti at the same time. Like... <laughs> Like, until I, I shit you not, until I saw the trailer for this, I I had not thought of Betty Spaghetti since I saw a commercial as a kid. So, like, that's what these are. They're millennial nostalgia bait, but guised as horror games, and that's fine. I don't have any problems with that, because they're good. If it's bad, it's one thing. If it's good, it's another. Like, that's, that's how it works, but... I don't love that kids flock to it. I don't love that people, because kids flock to it, do the thing where they make kids content and it's specifically aimed at kids and it's like Poppy Playtime or like Benny and the Ink Machine. There's the fucking like Poppy Playtime Minecraft videos, which are... Uh, at some point, 
it, future me, if I put this whole rant in, put up the uh, the thumbnail, the baffling fucking thumbnail that Tia sent you ages ago. Like I don't, I don't love how many people are just trying to con kids out of their parents' money and con kids into watching their stuff. So it's to get money from kids. That's where my line is. Like I personally probably would still take money from children if it's like ad revenue, but like I don't want kids to like steal their parents' credit card and fucking make them mad at me because I'm going to have to apologize. I'm probably going to have to get the money back. It's just I have issues with stuff like that. I don't I don't love the extortion of children for ad money. Like it's, it's I have a pro I had a problem with it with the Paul brothers. I had a problem with it with every one of those fucking channels that comes out and it's specifically aimed at children. Like I don't I don't like it. I don't want it to happen. I don't want we have talked to other parents who bring up YouTubers that their kids watch, and Millie has no fucking clue who they are. Now, granted, she knows a handful of YouTubers that are, I watch. She knows, like, the Game Grumps, Mark, Jack, all that. But she doesn't know any of the fucking kid ones. And she doesn't get to watch those videos with me because I'm not a terrible parent. She doesn't normally get to talk about it, get to watch them with me. There have been times. But... Like, it it bothers me not only that these channels exist and that they exist for children directed at them to get ad revenue out of them, but it bothers me that the parents are chill with it for some reason. Like, fucking don't. Don't let your kids watch this. Don't let your kids buy shit from these people. They're just schmucks. They're just, they're just con men that take money from your kids and you. Specifically you. Your kids don't have jobs, so it's your money. They're just taking your money because your kid wants something. Because it's got the fucking... Who's big right now? I don't fucking know. The, the the immediate thing that popped into my head was like the Maverick logo. And that's, I feel like, years old at this point. And I'm getting, I'm getting up there, I guess, in age. But, yeah, I, just, I have issues with that. I have issues with the fact that this is going to be aimed at kids at a certain point. And it's like, mm. But uh, that's the stream. Alexa, closing time.